in yes. that way. Yes. And and what you have to be really careful with senior leadership is we. I, we talk about one of the skills my membership group is working on this month is making compassionate and wise decisions as a leader. How do you come in with compassion, but maybe not with empathy where you're taking on everybody's work, thinking you're doing the right thing, you know, giving your staff weekends off, but then you're working on the weekends. So then leaders try to do the right thing and then they kind of like burn out themselves because they don't have the skill sets as far as what they need to do. So it's a whole new world that we're kind of starting to step our toes into. And it's gonna be interesting to see it, how it plays out. Yeah, well, that's a great illustration. And I, I can attest to myself as being a people leader for many years now that that happens, right? Where you will think you're taking one for the team and yeah. you know, well, I'm gonna you know, be the example, but we, we can't do that. That's not sustainable for us or then for the team. Yeah. yeah, I think um, a really cool article just came out yesterday from Ariane Huffington, and she straight up said, it's not about stamina, it's about judgment. Mm. And I was like, yes, <laughs> you know, that's SQ21, that's spiritual intelligence. We're paying you in these high leadership positions because we want your judgment to be sound. Mm. I don't care that you worked all night and took on this huge workload. We need you to have sound judgment as a leader are you making compassionate and wise decisions? You know, can you help us sustain faith through difficult times? Yeah. Those are the things that 